Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, we will going to discuss about the conductor properties. So what are the application of this conductor property? Like using that tool, like what are the application of that particular tool? So by that particular tool, we can easily calculate the uh, width of the conducting uh, track at the time of layout designing for the amount of current that we are going to pass through that um, uh, particular track, right? And uh, we can also calculate the lots of properties like the uh, DC resistance of the conductor and the what is the power dissipation in uh, decibel m, dBm, what should be the power dis dissipation in watt, uh, what is the skin depth. So these are the properties which are very useful when we uh, like when we'll go for the, you know, the advanced PCB designing. So let's discuss like how we can uh, calculate these properties. So there are few options that we need to fill. The firstly, we need to select the solve for option. So we need to solve for ampere or we can select a conductor width option, right? Suppose we need the current at, at the output, right? So then we'll go, uh, when we'll, then we'll click over the ampere, right? And when we need to calculate the, the conductor width uh, at the output, then we'll click over here, right? So, Then uh, generally we'll go for the ampere rating. So what we'll do, we'll, we need to just fill the conductor width here. What is the width of the conductor? What, what should be the, uh, what is the width of the conductor, uh, like conducting track? What is the length of the conductor? What, uh, what is the frequency in case of AC? But in case of DC, we need to select this option. What is the copper weight? So these, these are the like, uh, uh, copper weight is basically the, uh, thickness of the copper, uh, thickness of the copper uh, at the time of PCB manufacturing, right? And plating thickness is like when we, uh, like when we, before manufacturing, what is the copper, uh, like thickness, right? So this is the plating thickness. So generally uh, they'll same at both, uh, both of the case. We will also select the, sub, uh, the material option. So we'll use FR4 uh, generally and the temperature rise and ambient temperature is 22 and temperature rise, right? Uh, what, what will be the temperature rise after ambient temperature? So that uh, like net temperature at that particular case is the 40 degree the conducting layer, it is an internal layer. You, you are calculating the conductor property for internal layer or external layer, right? Then we need to click over solve. So it will calculate these properties, right? Thank you so much.